The Series 1 rite is essentially the burial service of the revised prayer book of 1928. As such, it incorporates content of the 1662 service, but it also provides options and additional material making it appropriate for modern circumstances. It is suitable for cremations as well as for burials. It is suitable for funerals comprising a service in church with a burial or cremation elsewhere. It is also suitable when the entire service takes place at a crematorium or cemetery. For illustrative purposes, this video is directed to the frequent situation of a main service in church followed by a burial or cremation. The body is met at the churchyard or outside the crematorium chapel and mourners who wish follow the coffin as the minister leads the procession. The service opens with one or more of the funeral sentences, usually begun as the coffin enters the building. The choice of sentences is greater than in the 1662 service. I am the resurrection and the life, saith the Lord. When the coffin is in place, an informal introduction may be appropriate. A hymn may then follow before one or more of the appointed psalms are said. Neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus uh, our Lord. Blessed uh, are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Uh, let not your hearts be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house uh, are uh, many uh, mansions. We brought nothing uh, into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. May I first welcome you to St. James for this service for uh, a, a, a very dear uh, Christian sister whom we remember with great uh, affection. Uh, we commend her to God this day. We commend ourselves, especially those among us who have great sadness, and we seek uh, God's grace and mercy as we look with faith to the resurrection of the dead uh, and the life of the world uh, to come. Psalm 23. The Lord is uh, my shepherd, therefore can I lack uh, nothing. The Psalms appointed are Psalms 39, 90, 23 and 130. One will usually be sufficient. The customary Gloria Patri, Glory be to the Father, may be omitted. In its place the sentence, Rest eternal grant unto them, O Lord, may be used. Before and after any psalm or group of psalms, the anthem, O Saviour of the World, may be said or sung. This suggestion is followed in the video. Of thy loving kindness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O Saviour of the world, who by thy cross and precious blood hast redeemed us, Save us and help us, we humbly beseech thee, O Lord. The psalm or psalms completed. One of the appointed lessons is now read. Series 1 provides a choice of four New Testament passages. One of the two passages from Revelation is used here. The lesson is written in the Revelation of St. John, the seventh chapter, and the ninth verse. After this I beheld, and lo, a great multitude which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues, stood before the throne 
and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands, and cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God which sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb. After the lesson is a suitable place for the address if one is being given. A hymn or other musical item may follow. The minister now leads the prayers. Here endeth the lesson. We continue with uh, the prayers. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, uh, have mercy uh, upon us. Our Father, which... Are As in the 1662 Alleluia, service, the prayers include the Kyrie's and the Lord's Prayer in its shortened in form. As it is in but following in the Lord's Prayer, the Series 1 service includes optional versicles and responses, as rather as at morning and evening prayer in the BCP. But deliver us from evil. Amen. Enter not into judgment with thy servant, uh, O Lord. Grant unto her uh, eternal rest. We believe verily to see the goodness of the Lord. In the land of the living. O Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come unto thee. The prayers that follow offer much more choice than in the 1662 service. In addition to the two prayers of the 1662 service, three more prayers are provided. A prayer for those we love but see no longer. A prayer for those who mourn and a prayer for lives grounded in the faith and hope of the Church. One or more of these five prayers is to be said at the minister's discretion. We meekly beseech thee, O Father, to raise us from the death of sin unto the life of righteousness, that when we shall depart this life, we may rest in him as our hope is this, our sister doth. Come, ye blessed children of my Father. Receive the kingdom prepared for you from the beginning of the world. Grant this, we beseech thee, O merciful Father, through Jesus Christ, our mediator and redeemer. Amen. A prayer for those in sorrow. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, and giver of all comfort, I deal graciously, we pray, with those who mourn. Further prayers are commended for optional use the in the 1928 book at this point in the service. Jesus Christ. These are the BCP collects for All Saints Day and Trinity prayer 12, and the prayers commemorating the faithful departed to be found in the occasional Father, prayers section of the 1928 Son, BCP. Among them the is the lovely prayer that begins, O Eternal God, Lord God. Uh, to live as those who believe uh, and trust uh, in the, the communion of saints. Said or sung, the much-loved Evensong canticle, Nunc Dimittis, Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace, can be very effective as a conclusion to the prayers. The service in church ends with the grace. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost, be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. At the graveside or in the crematorium chapel, the minister begins the committal with the 1662 burial sentences. These are powerful, beautiful and memorable words. Alternatively, the minister may use the following portion of Psalm 103. The words are less dramatic, but perhaps more comforting. Like a, a father pitieth his own children, uh, even so is the Lord merciful uh, unto them that fear him. For he knoweth whereof we are made. He remembereth that we are but dust. Uh, Although in this video the burial sentences and committal are said in the church, 
these ought always to be said at the point and place of committal itself. This would be at the crematorium, or in the case of a burial, at the graveside. If there is to be a burial, then following the prayers, a suitable psalm may be used for the procession from the church or crematorium chapel to the grave, or from the hearse into the crematorium chapel. We commend unto thy hands of mercy, uh, most merciful Father, the soul of uh, this, uh, our sister departed. And we commit uh, her body uh, to the ground, uh, earth to earth, uh, ashes to ashes, dust uh, to dust. While and earth is cast upon the coffin, or in the case of cremation, the coffin passes from sight, the minister says the words of committal. Two forms of the committal are provided in series one. Both this, uh, our sister, uh, uh, and we uh, may be found acceptable in thy sight. Grant this, uh, O merciful Father, for the sake of Jesus Christ, uh, our only Saviour, Mediator, and Advocate. Amen. I heard a voice from heaven saying uh, unto me, uh, Write, from henceforth blessed are the dead which die in the Lord. Uh, even so, saith the Spirit. Here, the minister may add a concluding ascription. And uh, now, uh, unto the King uh, uh, eternal, immortal, uh, invisible, the only wise God, be honour and glory, forever uh, and ever. Amen. Amen. The nunc dimittis, if not used at the end of the prayers, might well be used at this point in the service. The grace has already been said in church, but a concluding blessing may be pastorally helpful. A visit to the worship section of the Church of England's website will reveal additional Series 1 material. Series 1 provides collects and readings for use at a special celebration of Holy Communion on the day of a funeral. In addition, Series 1 provides a separate service for a child's funeral. Similar in format to the service presented here, it is, however, shorter and gentler. Its various sentences, prayers and words of committal are both apt and comforting. The service has much to commend it. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen uh, thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people. 